Hello, Taurus. This is um, this is a reading for you guys from now until the end of the month, and it is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also includes Venus and Jupiter as well. So again, this is for Taurus. This is not for the cross watcher. So if you are here, then that is on you guys, okay? Taurus. Oh, okay. Hmm. Feeling a little disheveled, are we? Let's see. What's going on for Taurus throughout the end of the month? Taurus. Seven of Swords, ready to get out of something. Something's not serving you guys here. This is Aquarius's energy. Ready to pack it all up and just get ghosts. Okay. Some of you are actually ghosting someone. Ghosting a situation. Have ghosted someone. This is the King of Cups. Some of you are running from love. Some of you feel like you have given your all and there is nothing left for you there. Somebody you feel like is not giving back to you. Okay, this could definitely be somebody in your past like you ran away from somebody that truly loved you. Or somebody that you truly love that you felt like didn't love you enough. King of Cups, that Scorpio energy. And your opposite. Okay. And then we have the Hermit. This is being in seclusion, being by yourself, taking time to reflect. This is looking more like. Um, and the, the Hermit is Virgo's energy. It's looking more like you guys are reflecting on some action that happened in the past at this point. The fact that you left a relationship where you felt like you, you know, truly extended yourselves emotionally. Okay. And something drained you. So right now... I feel like, you know, you're you're at this point where you just need some time to yourself to figure out where you go from here. Because I get that you have been drained. You have been drained by relationship. And with this chariot energy, chariot is number seven. And seven is indicative of a personal journey, something that you do for yourself that does not necessarily include someone else. Okay? Just like the seven of swords here. It's all about you. It has absolutely nothing to do with someone else. It's about your personal journey, your personal success story. Okay? And then we have the tower after the hermit. For some of you, this is you wanting to release yourself from a relationship, wanting to be by yourself, feeling like that person is not the one for you, feeling like you need to break things off because things are not working. The f foundation is kind of shaky. You know, maybe there's a lot of, you know, angry exchanges between you two or have been a lot of angry exchanges between you two again Scorpio's energies here the tower is destructive so there is some destruction okay you've taken some time to like reflect and and I feel like here is like shit just kind of hits the fan with this tower energy <clears throat> And then the chariot comes up again. I feel like you guys are leaving a situation that you feel like, you know, this is not good for me. This is not, this is not getting in us anywhere. This is not getting me anywhere in particular, specifically like you. Like this person may want to um, stay in this relationship or wanted to stay in this relationship. And you feel like, no, 
no, no. There's too much conflict. There's too much arguing and fighting. And I need to go so I can have peace, so I can be successful in my life. Cherry, this Cancer's energy. I do feel like for some of you, um, this involves like a family situation. Maybe kids are involved. Hmm. So let's see. Let's get some more cards. Eight of Wands. Definitely leaving. Um, wanting to move locations. Thinking about yourself and, and what it is that you really want from your life. And moving on. The Eight of Wands is moving on swiftly <laughs> it's like that like you come up with this and like you know what this is not working i'm out of here that sagittarius energy two of wands but being on the fence knowing you need to get out or want to get out but still having a lot of love for someone This is that feeling like you know you love someone, but is love enough with all the other, you know, turmoil that's going on? Is love enough to sustain a relationship when you're fighting every day? And then you question, is that even love? So the two of wands, it's like being so tired of of the negativity and whatever is not working in the relationship and that kind of like overshadows the love in the relationship so you, you're kind of on the fence <clears throat> and then there's that seven again but the seven of wands feeling very defensive about your your stand you know defending yourself against what other people may say, what even the person that you're with may say, um, just knowing what it is that you need to do for you. Defending the fact that, yeah, I may need to be alone right now because I need to get myself together. I need to think about the path that I truly want to be on here. So that's that Leo energy there with the Seven of Wands. And the Hierophant, it's your energy. I feel like also, again, this is a family situation. This may be a marriage. It may involve kids. Very strong commitment. But I feel like you had high hopes for this relationship. Just a lot of um, the stability, the foundation just was not there, is not there. And... This is you having tried to stay in it just because you made that commitment. But you know it's not working. You know you need to move on and do things um, for yourself if things are not going to change. Because something has to change here for this to work with this tower being present. And you feel like you have to change that. You have to go with your gut. You have done a lot of soul searching here with the hermit and the hierophant being present. You have your own moral standards. And I think you've tried to share that with the other person. To no avail. Oh, okay. And the five of cups. It's sad though. It's sad. I feel like some of you guys have already left a relationship and to to explore things on your own, to, to go on your own path separate from someone. But a lot of sorrow comes along with that because that love for that person is still there. That stability is what kept you from being happy with this person and staying in a commitment for some of you. But there's a lot of sorrow still from moving on from someone. 
there's a lot of sorrow Scorpio energy with this five of cups okay some of you are staying you're still with this person you really want to get out but you're also thinking about if you leave and do things on your own that you're going to miss this person it's inevitable when you've resigned yourself to make a commitment to someone for life or an extended period of time it's hard to walk away even if things are not working so yeah i get it all right guys so that is what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you guys soon